allow me to be brutally honest. The reason you are not making gains is the same reason I was not making gains many years ago. Because you flip around from exercise to this is what this is what your training looks like. You flip around from exercise to exercise or workout routine to workout routine. You start off, you build your workout routine. You're like, yeah, yeah, this this is this is gonna be good. This is gonna be one that builds me all the muscle and you'll start running it for a week and then you'll see on it on, on, on YouTube, oh, oh, this exercise is good for my upper traps. Right, well I better put that in there. I wanna build my upper traps and then, then oh, oh it's 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 now it's now the machine incline press. Oh well that needs to go in in there and I'll, I'll run that now and oh and weighted pull ups. Weighted pull ups are actually the ones that build your back and 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 oh, this guy's doing arms three times a week. Well, yeah, yeah, I'd like some more arms. Yeah, and uh, oh, oh, this this guy says don't barbell back squat. Well, I better take that out then. And uh, uh, and single arm pull downs are the greatest one for lats. And then uh, uh, um, and barbell bent over rows are bad for your back. So let's take those out and put those in there. And uh, push pull legs is is the way. Oh no, push pull legs is too much volume. Right, let's go down to four days a week. And four days a week is not enough. I need to make more gains. And I enjoy it anyway. So I want to train every day. And, this is what your workout routine looks like. On a, on a, on a bi-monthly basis, you are changing either the exercises that are within the workout or you're changing the, the, the training split altogether. You are doing one of two things and you're not built, making any progress. You know why? Because you've no consistency, no progressive overload in those set movement patterns. So how the fuck can you build muscle when you never truly get out the starting blocks? You don't build muscle in the first two weeks of running a trading split. So why on earth are you changing your, tra- your training program? That's like that's like running 100 meters, getting up to top speed and stopping, and then jogging the rest of the way. And be like, oh, I came last. Well, obviously you fucking came last. You never you never get any momentum. You go through the shit bit. You set yourself up. You get the soreness of the initial bit of the program and think that's the gains. And then when you stop receiving the soreness, you fuck the program off and try something else. Or you get an idea from someone else. And I don't blame you. This will happen multiple times. Like, even when you're in the gym, you see other people that are bigger than you doing a certain exercise. You're like, oh, they're bigger. Well, they, well, they, well, well it, must, it must be that I need to do a different exercise. So I, I better copy them. And you're so easily influenced. Or you'll be out on the piss and some will have a real nice set of lateral delts and you'll be like, oh, well, I've not been putting those in, so I better do that. And you're just like, you are just a bitch that goes through life because you, you change relative to what you see other people doing. And you never have the chance to stack any consistent progress. The best piece of advice that I could give to you that someone gave to me and I followed and I ran with it, but it's hard to do. And this is the beautiful thing about having a coach. I'm so grateful I have a coach and that he does all the thinking for me, takes out all the... That is honestly the biggest, the the best part about investing in a coach. A, he knows more than me, so he'll get me to the point. But actually, it's very, very underrated that he can take all of the stress, all of the guesswork, all of the anxiety out of my brain and just say, do this and build consistency in this and get stronger in these movements. Don't change the fucking plan. Follow what I say blindly. Blindly follow what I say. Remember, what, remember we spoke about in the in the previous lectures about how be the pilot and not the passenger because if you think about things relative to your, to your emotions, you'll do what your emotions want to do there and then. Whereas the pilot has the best interest for you from logic, just like your coach will when he sets your training pro- program. You doing this is the same equivalent to the guy that doesn't set a plan for his day and then goes through the day based on what he feels like. So he never gets his hard tasks done. Whereas the guy that sets the the pilot that sets his day out the next day with the checklist on his iPhone notes and ticks them off, that is the same as the coach setting you the training program, the nutrition plan, and saying, follow this to the T. This works. By the way. I obviously have a coaching program, so if, if that would actually add weight to your life, there'll be links in the description. So, build consistency. The, the, the funny thing is, the basics work, because the basics have been around for fucking years. Most of the basics are loadable. Dumbbell press, very underrated. You load the muscle in the length and position, where it's actually strongest which means you could just load again and again and again and build up the stack. Unless you've completed the dumbbell stack, don't come to me and say your chest is small. 
lap pull down. Unless you can stack the lap pull down and do it with good tempo, don't come to me and say your back's small. Shoulder press, lateral raises, the basics work. And, and to really put them into a basic manner, you're either pushing horizontally, pulling horizontally. Pushing vertically, pulling vertically. Knee flexion, i.e. knee bending or and hip bending, and then elbow bending. And just think of it like that, and you will grow. Do not overcomplicate it. Train the muscle twice a week, really fucking hard. Make it get bigger and stronger over time, and stay consistent to one set training program. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Just fucking run with it for at least six weeks to know it actually is wrong. It's not wrong one time after you did it because you stopped getting sore. Don't chase soreness. Soreness is not the indication of muscle growth. It is the indication of damage, but you could be in a car crash and have fucking a sore neck the next day. Did you make neck gains? I don't know, maybe, maybe you did, but probably not. So just stick with one program and run it out for a period of time and then change it and then change it. And of course, be smart about it. Look at your weak areas and think, okay, well, what's the most optimal exercise I can put in here to reap the most amount of gains? I'll do that twice a week and I'll get stronger on that and then I will build up my weak points and then I won't be watching stupid YouTube videos about which exercise is better than the other because it's all relative to someone's fucking body. What is better for you may be better, it may not be as good for other people. That's just the way it is. So... I hope this was useful. This, honestly, this advice is fucking golden. For, for me, like two, three years ago, this advice is what I needed to hear. Someone's sitting me down saying, stop being a piece of shit, stop doing this, because that's why you look like this. Follow a set plan, and now you get to look like this. Brilliant. Boys, I hope this was useful. I'll fucking see you tomorrow.